Already many are comparing this radio signal to the famous wow signal. On August 15, 1977, a mysterious wow signal had briefly blared through a radio telescope. In 1977, NASA captured a mysterious signal from deep space. What they decoded could rewrite our understanding of the universe. Known as the wow signal, this one-time 72-second burst from the Sagittarius constellation has left scientists speechless for decades. But now, recent efforts to decipher its meaning have revealed something truly chilling. Let us dive into the truth behind this signal, embrace ourselves for what they uncovered. It's more terrifying than we ever imagined. The signal that made us listen to the stars. Astronomers got a surprise when they picked up a strong, unusual radio signal coming from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation. The signal was at a frequency connected to neutral hydrogen, a frequency some scientists think could be a way for alien civilizations to send messages. Since then, this signal has become a key focus in the search for life beyond Earth, for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence community. To this day, no one knows what or who sent it. Could the WOW signal truly be a message from an alien civilization? The latest findings may finally bring us closer to an answer. Astronomer Jerry Amon discovered it while sifting through the data. So stunned by the strength and clarity of the signal, he scribbled a simple word in red ink next to it. Wow! That impulsive reaction gave the signal its iconic name. But what did it mean? A random burst of cosmic energy? A miscommunication between satellites? Or could it be a message from someone out there? The official name for the WOW signal, 6EWJ5, may sound like a jumble of characters, but it represents the changes in intensity of that signal, a pattern that hinted at something organized, something deliberate. For decades, this signal haunted the minds of scientists and dreamers alike, sparking debates, theories, and wild speculation. Was it proof of extraterrestrial life? No one knew for sure, but the question kept lurking unanswered. Decades later in recent years, a new team of researchers led by Abel Mendez at the University of Puerto Rico decided to revisit the Enigma. They used the now dismantled Arecibo telescope, which had once stood as one of the most powerful ears to the universe. Although Arecibo picked up signals similar to the WOW signal, they were weaker, originating from different places. Did this mean the WOW signal was just a fluke, a freak cosmic event that happened only once? Or was there more to it? Theories soon piled up. Perhaps the signal came from a natural event, an unexpected burst of hydrogen from a magnetar flare, maybe. While these questions echoed unanswered, Voyager 1, another iconic symbol of our reach into the cosmos, was also sending signals. Launched in 1977, the same year the WOW signal was received, Voyager 1 had been cruising through space, heading towards the edge of our solar system. It had long since completed its primary mission of photographing Jupiter and Saturn and was now venturing beyond into the uncharted territory of interstellar space. Voyager 1 carries with it a golden record, a time capsule of sorts filled with greetings in 55 languages, images from Earth, and sounds like waves, laughter, and music. A message, a whisper from humanity to whoever or whatever might find it. The spacecraft itself has become the farthest human-made object from Earth, a ghostly reminder of human curiosity drifting endlessly into the unknown. But here's where it gets stranger. In May 2022, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory shared unsettling news. Voyager 1 had started sending back data that simply didn't make sense. The signals indicated a misalignment between the spacecraft's orientation system and its actual position, almost like it was lost in a way it shouldn't be. Despite this, Voyager 1 continued its journey, undeterred, as if nothing was wrong. Was it merely a glitch, or was something, or someone, interfering? Suzanne Dodd, the project lead, admitted they weren't sure what was going on. Voyager 1 was, after all, over 45 years old, hurtling through regions of space no other human-made object had ever ventured into, an area filled with high radiation and cosmic mysteries. Could something out there be trying to tell us something? Or was it just the spacecraft, aging and faltering under the relentless bombardment of space? While Voyager 1's signals were being puzzled over, its twin, Voyager 2, seemed fine, quietly continuing its own journey. The data from Voyager 1 took over 20 hours to travel back to Earth, 
So each question sent its way took nearly a day for an answer to return. Every question answered led to new doubts. Would it hold on long enough to give us more clues? Or would the mysteries of space swallow its secrets forever? And then another strange occurrence. Since 2018, an unusual radio signal had been popping up, a signal that blinked every 22 minutes. It wasn't like the wow signal, but it was just as enigmatic. Who or what was repeating this signal every 22 minutes? Was it a natural cosmic rhythm or was it a beacon, a deliberate attempt to communicate? The discovery was made by Tyrone O'Sullivan, a young undergraduate researcher from Australia, while combing through radio data for unusual patterns. He quickly turned to Natasha Hurley Walker, an experienced astronomer, to confirm his findings. The signal seemed to vanish and reappear as if playing a game of hide and seek with us. But why? And more importantly, what could it mean? After months of observation, the signal continued its strange behavior. For five minutes, every 22 minutes, it would reappear, then vanish again. A pattern, a pulse, a heartbeat from deep space. But whose heartbeat? Was it a star in its final throes? Or was it something or someone trying to reach out? It left scientists puzzled with more questions than answers. And that brings us back to the wow signal, a mystery that has never truly gone away. For years, NASA scientists worked to make sense of the signal. It stayed silent, the mystery unsolved, until now. Recently, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory made an announcement. They'd been re-examining the data from the wow signal using the most advanced decryption techniques available today. The results, they finally managed to decipher it. But they said, you wouldn't like the answer. It was uncertain what the occurrence signified. Could it be a message or a mere warning? Or was it merely a coincidence rendered unsettling by human imagination? Little more was disclosed, only that some answers are best left unspoken. Perhaps this was an answer that edged humanity closer to the acknowledgement of not being alone in the universe. Yet with a hint of trepidation, one might consider that solitude was preferable. The sky, vast and mysterious, harbors countless secrets. Signals have been transmitted into its depths. Messages encoded on golden records and faint whispers, all sent with the hope of eliciting a response. Perhaps on one night in August of 1977, the cosmos replied, the event known as the WOW. Signal might have been a cosmic greeting, a subtle tap on the door of the galaxy, signaling a beginning of contact that humanity is only now starting to comprehend. The desire for answers has always been strong, yet with these discoveries comes a pivotal question. Is humanity truly prepared for the truths of the universe? As the Voyager 1 spacecraft continues its journey into the unknown, new signals emerge from the depths of space, challenging the readiness of humanity to confront the realities of what lies beyond. And when the answers come, will we still want to know? A deep dive into cosmic pulses. The enigma of the WOW signal has captivated countless individuals. This unexpected and perfectly timed signal was so astonishing that the researcher who first detected it felt compelled to jot down a single word on the printout. Wow! Now imagine that decades later, NASA has managed to decode this mysterious signal. The revelation, however, might be something unsettling, something that perhaps people might have preferred to remain a mystery. The implications of such a discovery stretch far beyond mere scientific curiosity, hinting at truths about the universe that might be as profound as they are disquieting. The wow signal lasted for 72 seconds, a blip in time, but just long enough to ignite endless speculation. Where did it come from? Was it an attempt at contact from an advanced civilization echoing across the emptiness of space? Or was it something else, something darker? Despite decades of work, scientists still aren't sure. Could it be a lost message from a dying race? Or maybe a warning? No one knew for sure, until now. NASA recently revealed a breakthrough, a discovery that has left even the most hardened scientists uneasy. The signal, it turns out, was not just noise. It wasn't just random static or an artifact of human-made interference. It was deliberate, a message crafted and aimed at Earth with chilling precision. And as NASA decrypted the first fragments, they realized the implications were more troubling than anyone could have imagined. A simple pattern of numbers repeating in a language that defied human conventions. Could this be a countdown? A set of coordinates? 
The possibilities were endless, and each one seemed worse than the last. What if they were coordinates to Earth, our exact position in the vast cosmos, or a warning of something to come, something lurking in the dark? The WOW signal had been a mystery for decades, but this new information cast it in a terrifying new light. The signal, NASA said, contained a series of pulses, a code, and as they pieced together the message, one chilling truth began to emerge. It wasn't a greeting. It wasn't a cry for help. It wasn't even an invitation. It was a warning, a warning not to look, not to respond, not to acknowledge. The message was clear, do not come. In an astonishing turn of events, humanity was faced with a revelation that defied all previous expectations. For centuries, the collective imagination had been captivated by the possibility of encountering extraterrestrial beings. The hope was for a peaceful encounter, an exchange that would herald a new era of understanding and exploration. However, the reality that emerged was starkly different. Even more chilling was the realization that the message was never intended to be friendly. It was precise and calculated, like a lighthouse warning ships away from a dangerous reef. What kind of danger could be out there? Could there be a force so malevolent, so destructive, that even those who have traveled the stars are afraid to face it? The message from space added a new weight to the atmosphere, casting a shadow over the vast unknowns of the cosmos. NASA, with its typical caution, chose to keep most of the content secret, only sharing enough to issue a warning without triggering widespread fear. This decision raised a crucial dilemma. Is it better to know the full extent of the threat or to remain in a state of blissful ignorance about the dangers that might lurk beyond our solar system? This leaves humanity at a significant juncture. Should the warnings be heeded, scaling back the quest for extraterrestrial knowledge to avoid disturbing the dark reaches of space? Or should curiosity, or perhaps a touch of hubris, drive us deeper into the potentially perilous unknown? The cryptic nature of the signal might have already suggested a course of action to avoid further probing. Yet the question persists whether humanity can ever truly ignore the allure of the uncharted. The legacy of the WOW signal presents a stark choice between the excitement of discovery and the trepidation of potential peril. Hidden in the darkness, there might be entities observing, waiting to see which route humanity will choose. Regardless of the path chosen, one truth remains evident. The universe harbors mysteries. Some it seems eager to reveal, while others it guards with fervent secrecy. And maybe, just maybe, the wow signal was never meant to be heard in the first place. The Last Echo. It was August of 1977. The night was calm, almost too calm, when the Big Ear radio telescope caught something strange, a signal that made scientists sit up in their chairs, their eyes wide, their hearts pounding. They called it the wow signal. It lasted 72 seconds, just 72 seconds, and then, nothing. It vanished into the cosmic darkness, leaving only questions behind. Years passed, decades even, and yet there were no answers. People moved on, yet some could not let go. A strange spike on a chart haunted them persistently. This wasn't random noise. It carried a pattern, something deliberate, something with profound meaning. What secrets did it hold? The cosmos kept its mysteries tightly and humanity was only just beginning to attune its ears to the whispers of the universe. Then in the year 2017, a startling event unfolded. Proxima Centauri, the star closest to Earth, erupted with a surge of energy. It brightened a thousandfold in a mere 10 seconds. This brief span of intense power was followed by a smaller, lingering flare. This spectacle was not merely a visual feast, but a harbinger of danger emitting waves of lethal radiation potent enough to strip the atmosphere from any planet caught in its vicinity. The likelihood of any life surviving such conditions was deemed nearly impossible by scientists, with odds placed at one in 100 million. But was this assessment accurate? Could life cling on against such overwhelming odds? Back on Earth, people continued to scan the heavens. Antennas were directed skyward, capturing every faint murmur from the cosmos each potential signal from afar. Yet the sheer vastness of space posed a monumental challenge. The Milky Way alone spans 100,000 light years. Imagine sending a message across such an expanse. A message would take 100,000 years to reach its destination, with an equal duration for any response. 
Who could wait that long? Had there been attempts to communicate with Earth before the discovery of radio waves? Would such efforts have even been noticed? Consider a distant civilization that had mastered the art of long-distance communication. They decide to dispatch a signal toward Earth, their message hurtling across the cosmic void. However, by the time it arrives, Earth's technology has advanced beyond the use of radio waves, leaning on fiber optics and satellite technology, invisible to distant observers. The message reaches Earth, but it finds no receptive audience. It is conceivable that Earth might have received a signal from another world. Perhaps it was detected, but by then, it was too late. The senders might have ceased transmissions, moved on, or perhaps they no longer existed. With two trillion galaxies in the universe, each hosting billions of stars, how many opportunities for contact might there be? How many messages traverse the vast emptiness, doomed to remain unanswered forever? And then there was Jupiter, a brief flash from one of its moons, just five seconds. Was it another wow moment? Scientists watched, hopeful. The moon was Ganymede, bigger than Mercury and Pluto, with its own magnetic field, a rarity among moons, a place that's been around for four and a half billion years, orbiting Jupiter every seven days. Could this be it? Could life be there beneath its frozen shell? The labs buzzed with hope and fear. What was that flash? Was it real? Or was it just another trick Another false lead in a universe full of them. Ganymede's icy surface hides an ocean. And in that ocean? Maybe strange alien creatures like our deep sea oddities, things like goblin sharks or anglerfish, living in darkness, surviving against all odds. The world was poised on the brink of an astonishing discovery, filled with anticipation. Was it possible that at last something had been found? The answer, however, was not what had been hoped for. There was no sign of life, only the detection of magnetic fields, another peculiar phenomenon in the cosmos. It wasn't a voice or a message from the beyond. As the initial wave of hope dissipated, the relentless pursuit of knowledge did not wane. If not on Ganymede, perhaps Europa would hold the key. If not there, then the search would extend elsewhere. The quest for answers lingered, pushing the boundaries of space exploration ever further. This wasn't the first time our hopes soared. In 2020, a repeating signal caught everyone's attention. It came from a distant galaxy, a bright flash that vanished as quickly as it appeared. No pattern, no warning. Just there, and then gone. It didn't fit any star or known object. It was a mystery, like the wow signal all over again. Was it a message? Or was it just cosmic noise? Scientists had no answers. The signal wasn't behaving like any known flare, and there was no other telescope that could pick it up again. Maybe it was something called a galactic center radio source, a rare event, a sudden burst of energy near the heart of a galaxy. But what did it mean? Was there something more? Imagine this, driving straight up into the sky at 60 miles per hour, reaching outer space in just one hour. Now imagine traveling to the moon. It's 250,000 miles away. At that speed, it would take you about six months. But Pluto? Pluto is so far that it would take over 800 years to reach it. Space is big, too big for us to fully understand, too big to ever truly conquer. The wow signal, an enigma from the cosmos, continued to perplex humanity. Decades had passed, yet the origin and meaning behind this brief interstellar blip remain cloaked in mystery. The allure of such a signal stirred curiosity and fear alike. People wondered whether they truly desired to unveil its secrets. Conceivably, the truth harbored revelations unsettling or profound. Thus, many pondered if ignorance was preferable, letting the signal dwell as a cryptic symbol of the universe's vastness. A silent observer nestled in the void, perhaps hinting that it awaited human comprehension. So could mysterious signals like this be signs of alien technology? Or are they just cosmic phenomena? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.